science has become kind of such an important cog in the mechanisms of, of power and of capitalism um, that it's really hard for it to extricate itself. What are you doing here? We um, are taking direct action against the Royal Society. You can read the letter on the door if you like, or if you'd like one in person. So who are you? Scientist Rebellion. We're calling on scientists to act as if the truth is real. That paint doesn't matter. Billions of people are going to starve to death within two to three generations. Scientists like to think that science is kind of separate and it's not deeply political. I think that the Royal Society should be ashamed of how much it's not acting as if the truth is real. What we anticipate is a lot of scientists will say to us, you're being alarmist. And really that's them saying, you're stupid, I'm not stupid. Humans are driving the climate crisis and we know that it's gonna get really, really bad. I mean, there's no doubt on that in the scientific community at all. The people in this society yeah. have said unequivocally, your family will starve to death within two to three generations and then haven't acted as if that's true. Our aim is to get scientists to join a movement to actually do two things. It's first so that scientists can consider their own role in the crisis and what they need to do differently. Um, about the culpability of science as an institution in the crisis. And the second part of it is that we need scientists to demonstrate the reality of the truth by coming out onto the streets, by fighting back. If we're not acting like our lives depend on systemic change, why should the public believe the science that says that's necessary? And almost all of the science says that that is necessary. If I tell you the room's on fire and then just calmly sit down and drink a cup of tea, you're not going to believe me, are you? You can be as clever as you want, you can have as many citations as you want, but if you don't act like the panic, then nobody's going to believe you. The science has been fundamental. Um, you couldn't have the movement without the climate science. It, it is a, an important pillar of the movement, but we have to do more because it's a crisis.